Hey, it's been a while. Let's do it. October 19th, 9.42 a.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby Number 1. Um, Mr. Wright? Yeah? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. Huh, that's terrible. This is no time for dead joke. Don't people jokes, please! You know we're getting into a trial utterly undefenses. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. That's it. We'll lose the trial. This isn't gonna be easy. Oh. Cause now they got that boy as a witness. Pretty much. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if that producer's gonna come out. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. Or that director. He's already eyeballing Mia. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the steel samurai. Noob, Raffle. Salmonella. I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what this means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. But right, she doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Because she's a veteran, she knows what's up. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employees area, but I had a meeting at Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were at the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. Hmm! The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30pm, and according to your testimony, you were at the meeting that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Alright. Gotta press and put everything and knock over things when we try to press people. Is that when you always come to work? Oh, oh no. I come in at all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know about you freaks in the industry. Still, FWIW, what does that even mean? I was pretty busy all that day, sad emoticon. Tell us more about that. During the morning I was doing some, uh, tell me about that action sequence run through. In the employee area? That's right. It was the fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole time. LOL! She was cheering on Hammer if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Hmm. It took a lot more than him. Tell me things. Why did it go on for so long? Um, pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run through, see? Alright, thus the limp. Which of course led me to missing my lunch. Roffs! I don't know what Roffs 
Roth's rolling on the floor starving? <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. You're there, wanna eat lunch. Tell me about that. Who all ate lunch? What exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak. The assistants cooked up some up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on the employee area. Everyone else meaning that the witness did not eat with them. And that's it by time. But I had a meeting, so I ended up skipping lunch. Did you really? Because there were T-bone steaks. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can't you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Hmm. It's contradictory, because there were plates at the studio too, uh, whatever area. So, yeah, it does seem odd uh, now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. Hmm? <laughs> what did you mean, sweats? When I went to the trailer, I saw something on the table. There were two plates on the table. Some kind of plates in the same as the plates at the employee area. Yeah. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> no, I er uh, um uh heh, <laughs> good call. What noise does sweats make? I er uh, I was embarrassed so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. A T bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'm sus suspected as much. So, when exactly did you eat it? Well, we took one break during the meeting. I uh, wolfed it down then. Drool sound. I, a, mental engine, a mental image I will carry with me to the grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a little bit more. The meeting till 4 p.m. Uh, yeah, I guess that's right. During the meeting, well, no. Hold it. Hold it, man. You didn't take a single break? Er, well, y yeah, not a one. Sweats. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press him. Wait a second. Mr. Manel, you've just con contradicted yourself. Didn't you tell the court that you ate a T-bone steak during a break? Oops! Rolfel! Well? Um... Mr. Manel, what's this all about? W well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took one break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. <laughs> uh oh. Edgeworth is laughing. What is he laughing about? Just because. I don't know. Calling a testimony about a break. Eh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where this goes. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is W. Uh, F. W. I. W. We took a break. Ruffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13. And base 2. 12, what? Not enough time for someone who say, commit murder in Studio 1. LOL. There's only enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Steams. Steams? How do you, how does one steam? Hmm. I don't think it would be enough time for that, but, but that's just me. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Let's talk about the break. Alright, um, yeah. Please tell me what this W, F, W, M, yeah. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 until 2.45. 2.30. That's the time of the death. He could have gone to Studio One and killed Hammer and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Hmm, Edgeworth's thinking as well. It's only 15 minutes. That's only 13 and base 12. What does that even mean? What were you doing in those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak. What else? There were two plates on the trailer table. Oh, right. The other one was Divas, er, Divasquez plate. Divasquez, the producer. To eat t a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Well, thanks, Edgeworth. That's not, that's not something to lull about. 
Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony is to this point has been made certain one painfully clear. The, fa the people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone went to the trailer from, stu went from Studio One? Um. Uh. Shoot, I don't know. Guess it. Claim it? No, it's impossible. That's what I'm gonna say. I don't write off too many possible suspects, but I can't claim the, claim the impossible either. I agree that it is impossible that anyone in the trailer could go to the studio in that time. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again, but I see you had at least an inkling in the, of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meaning meeting came right at the time of the death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey Head barred the way. It's true. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Mr. But Edgeworth has a point. And somehow, I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we've seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several people in the Studio 2 of the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. There, they, therefore, have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regard to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid we have found Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we have indeed decisive evidence. A witness. Oh, it's the boy. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Rabble. Order. I will have order. Let me see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. The court is adjourned for recess. Oh, I'm not sure if this is good or bad. Well, besides if they have a victim, that's bad. In the defendant lobby. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not why there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to that to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... Uh, what's going to happen to me? I kind of seem like everyone in the courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us, and be yourself. Be strong. If you are the Steel Samurai, hero of children everywhere, after all. I... You... Thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Oh, we gotta do it. Because the witness is a kid. And it's for the kids. Yeah, why do we go to courtroom number four? I guess, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't even know. The court is now back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has, has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this case is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the high moral ground, moral high ground. However, we have, a, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackett to the stand. 
He's so tiny. Get him a soap box. Your Honor, perhaps we can arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, we're right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Because they bring donuts and crates. That's a lot of donuts. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness! What? Just because you're all grown up, I mean you can push me around. <laughs> Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Haggins, I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is gonna be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, or I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, or you were in Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident? You got a problem with that? Oh, he's got a weapon. Please, tell me what you saw on that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you, you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentlemen. A very long day. Incidentally, a photograph equipment is strictly forbidden in a courtroom. Mmm! -hmm. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission, if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with the kid, and you lost? Hey, I just got a new camera. Don't really know how to use it. It <laughs> all too good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make note of that in the court record. Oh, got his camera. Very well, Cody. Please, testify to the court what you saw on the day of the incident. I wanted to see the Steel Samurai rehearsal, just once. I found a map on the internet. I went to the studios that day. I went through the woods, off the path, so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going to Studio One. I kind of got lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came to the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. And it totally rocked! Right before my eyes came out the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time of the shot, I tell ya. Anyway, I couldn't go to the studio, so I went home. Oh, man. Well, he did have his camera, I betcha. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. And be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Yeah, he's a lot tougher than that bellboy, that's for sure. I want to see the Steel Samurai just once, but I bet you've seen it a billion times, you little liar! You really like the Steel Samurai, huh? Of course they do! I've taped every show, and I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course! Duh! My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. I found a map on the internet in the studio. Where is this website? I need more maps. Was that the day of the first time you had been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been there a couple times. I never managed to get in on, the, on a rehearsal day. And that security lady is always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk when you cut me off all the time? Jeez! Ugh. I went through the woods. The lady wouldn't catch me. What is your relationship with the old lady? Off the path? Yeah, you know. How the studio in the valley there? If you go to the path, a little there's woods. From there, that's where I was. I see. Anyhow. Hmm. I find that relevant. I was going to the studio, okay? Got kind of lost in, 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 for about 30 minutes. So what time? Do you know the time? The time? You got lost in the woods? Yeah. I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man. I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? When I came out of the studio, there was a steel samurai. A steel samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened the gate and went inside. I see. What then? Totally rock before my eyes came out the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A big a guy. A person. Kinda tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? 
I don't know. He was kind of far away. Huh. He's being awfully vague. And then Mia looked at me. Why? Hold it. What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I, I guess he was a real pro. What a great actor. Yeah, yes. I suppose he was. If I had my camera with me, I would have been the top. I thought you had your camera, buddy. You always have it. If you had your camera. You mean, you weren't carrying your camera then? No, no. I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killer freaked him out when he went home. Phoenix. Remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. I wanted to see a steel samurai. Okay. So. I'm pretty sure you had your little camera, you little brat. And I'm gonna present that. Nope, not that one. Of course, steel samurai took him down. Pow. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. You're a little ahead of yourself here, because I got your camera. And objection. Cody. What you said seems a little strange. Didn't you say before you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel are you to terrorize a poor child so? I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? Wh what Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? Yeah, we do. You're lying. In court. So you did have a camera. And did you use that camera? Th why would I use it? I I was busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please f testify to the court what you were so busy watching. Oh, I'll get this kid cornered. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued on the action. I couldn't let my eyes off of it. The Steel Samurai, he goes to the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. Steel Samurai rules. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Uh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. What he saw. Let's see. Okay, press. Press him. So, why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away? Not even once? N no. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. The Steel Samurai, he goes to the bad guy. Wham! So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. What happened next? And then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? L well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? He how did he do it? With the Samurai Kick and a Samurai Punch, Samurai Chop, Samurai Slap! S something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Press him harder. Cody. Oh boy. Something's bothering me. Before you said you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? E so what? Yet you missed the most important part. 
What is the meaning of this? The witnesses stated he quite what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer who uses the samurai slap. <laughs> My point is this, Cody. You may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight, but you missed the most important part: the killing blow. It's true. He hasn't said anything. He said, mm -hmm. "Order, order." Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he could have missed something so vital? Um, well, er, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with us. I think. Why didn't, Co so, uh, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. You have ascertained that the boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of this fight? Uh... I think he was scared. Er, uh, let me look at my court record. Why couldn't he watch the fight? Because he's trying to get his camera. Because he always gets every shot. That was the path to glory. Contains every scene in this fight. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if he gets every picture, he would have a picture. Uh, show evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Uh, because his camera. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I wasn't even thinking of that, but sure. I, I thought he was like fumbling around with his camera and he missed it or something. Okay. Well, I guess that kind of works too. I'm aware of this too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking elsewhere at a critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. W what's your problem, Pops? You got a... You got a thing when picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Because I pick on the elderly. Press on the children. Good job, Phoenix! Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize that there's no way he could stand there, watching his hero, and not taking a picture. Right. Cody. There was only one reason why you could have looked away from that fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. And having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix. I'll bet you anything that he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right. Mia means business. Your Honor. The defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. But very well. Cody? Could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of that fight? Um. Welcome to the real world, kid. No photo? Yeah, you're right, Pops. Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open at the time, so I missed it. But that's all that happened. Yep. Well, that was... Uh, uh, hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with my cross-examination anyway. Hmm. Tell me how right I am. Pops? Yeah, I called you Pops, you spiky-haired geezer. G -g geezer I'm Mr. Edgeworth. I guess I'm the bearded gentleman. That's what I hate about grown-ups. You're all so self-conscious. Okay, off with the gloves, kid. Testify, witness, testify. Yipes! The Steel Samurai just escaped from the clutches of the... So he's, so he's getting attacked? So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? So I held up my camera to take a picture. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open at the time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? 
Uh, well, a person on the ground. And the Steel Samurai. That's all that happened. Yep. But you didn't take a picture? Not even one? That's all. Y yeah! I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have one once I got the lens open. Did you really not take a picture? Not even once? Press him hard. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye. How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. That's one of my powers. Wow. This feels great. Y yeah. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change the testimony to reflect on this, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Hold it. You erase them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. How can I pick any holes in this such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up dirt, Phoenix. Find out what you know what this kid's all about. Well, he's all about keeping the last picture. Let me, I think, let me see. So I held my camera to take a picture. So I missed it. So I took a few shots, but it was too late. I raced. Hold on. You don't erase any of them. You got this thing. Tane's a photo of every victory scene. Every victory screen. Every. Cody. What? What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it up with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving this me, to giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh oh. Right. What was it that you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lines the flannel blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Cody. Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard you would believe you'd just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it in your f for yeah, wouldn't you keep it for your album? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's perfect, a collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all the pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I would certainly expect to see a picture of this in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No, wait, no way. Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what the truth is, it is. Mamiya, are you sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell him, Phoenix. Tell him what the truth is. Oh, uh, that's right. Please explain to the court what's going on here. Why wasn't there an, an old picture of the album that murdered that day? Why would the boy erase the photos he took? Oh. He didn't win. Hmm. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Clo Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, 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 no way! No! It's impossible. The, the, the Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone. Ever! Your honor. The witness has revealed everything in, in, with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us that he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased those precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet, to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth.
Oh, order! I will have order. Or witness. I mean, Cody. Is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... <laughs> Cody. That day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay. You're right. The, the, the Steel Samurai f fell down. But then he didn't move. <laughs> oh. Well, this changes everything. Order, order, order. What kind of stun are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to the witness testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? The Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell into the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, but he was the victim. Don't you see? Plus, this, this might explain why there was no blood, like, in the suit, or on the ground. Well, I don't know if it was in the suit then. Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph? You're saying that the man, the victim, was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene during the run-through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew of Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait, had Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He had already gone to the studio before I came back to the guard station. Wasn't she with them? Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Oh. Why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Huh? I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So, it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually... There was one piece of data that I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. Huh? W what? Show us, quick! No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No! <laughs> yeah, this is it. Oh. Well, looking at this, I'd say it's still hard to say. I'm afraid that it could do be anyone in that costume. My your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That's the photo of evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show up. There's the glaring, dis dis uh, glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts that we all know in that photo. Oh shit! It's a two! So, in, as in Studio 2? That's what I'm gonna suggest. Yeah, that. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Can I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, oh, yes, well. It's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one. You're right, Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edris sees what I'm getting at. But, but that's impossible. Hmm, eh? What's this all about? Please explain so I might be a shock to long with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what we do see is the photo taken at the time of the murder. It does not say that one on that gate of the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Well, it must have taken place in Studio 2, then. It must have been Studio 2, right? Eh? 
That's what he's getting at. I'm gonna go with you, Phoenix. Here, the studio too. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2 because the trailer is there. Oh. Very significant that the murder took place. The filming is done there. Because the trailer is there and everyone else is in that trailer in the meeting and everything. As you recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Oh. So somebody put the body there. The path of the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to the Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Mr. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Once, some, only someone in the trailer could have committed, committed this murder. They were the ones to access the scene and the crime. Studio Two. So, Will Powers is innocent. We have an alibi. Uh, order, order. The defense makes the claim following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that was the security lady, Miss Oldbag, saw the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole the Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would he steal the Steel Samurai's costume? What are, you, are you suggesting that he did so he could cover up the detail of his own murder? W well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me some proof that he stole. Uh, stole a cup. Oh yeah, that bottle! He's got the empty sleeping pill bottle! I have proof! You do. You do, Mr. Wright? Now that they're all surprised, suddenly I feel less, much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Because he drugged him. Sleeping pills, then he took it. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table at the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the afternoon, entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a minute. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Uh, fingerprint the bottle. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I was about to check the bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Hmm? <laughs> I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. There you go. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hackman's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The Steel Samurai seen by Miss Old Bag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did not have, to have time to commit the did have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me to by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance on this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Oh, because it's three day period. Very well. Court is adjourned. Three hours later. Whew! That was a close one. We were saved by a hair. But that's all that counts. And I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. <laughs> Me too! Really? You both seem so, so confident. Ha! <laughs> I 
Maybe I should take up that career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. They're dead? <laughs> of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right. Thanks. <laughs>